Our study this morning is going to be on Genesis 31, whereby we are going to see uh, Jacob departing from Laban, or Jacob returns to his father's house. You know, we have dealt with Jacob uh, from the last two chapters, and we saw when even Jacob went to, to the far country, he was sent by his father to the far country to go and marry there. That exposition is in the YouTube. We dealt with it. Uh, we even saw why Jacob had to marry Leah first, then Rachel. All those things we saw. We also saw all these uh, serving, the seven years serving, when Jacob, instead of getting Rachel, he got Leah, he saw it. The seven years after getting Leah, he served. Then he was given Rachel. And all these things, we saw them in a deeper sense. And we saw how they mean spiritually. And I don't want to go back and those ones because they are there in our expositions. Today we are going to see uh, Leah and Rachel af after having remarried to Jacob there comes a time that Jacob won't return unto his father. And here, in this sense, I told you, when Jacob was sent by Isaac and Laban, Isaac here represented the father of Christ. Jacob is Christ. And Laban is nature. And when you say nature, there is, it is still part of God because nature also comes, is part of God or it is the dark side of God. Still, in a deeper sense, Laban still represents the father again. All those things, I told you what they mean. But now, we saw that Christ, when he was sent in this world, we saw it. That is when he was sent unto Laban. And when he came to this world, he was to marry. And that's why he was given Leah first, because Leah represented the the law of nature, the first wife. Because Christ, if he was going to save us, first of all, he was to take this nature of ours. And we saw that having got Leah, he was also going to get who? Rachel. Rachel. And Rachel here represents the true wisdom of God or the kingdom of God, or the pure kingdom of God. So Christ, when he came, he was given, he has gotten all these. He has gotten there, that is the physical kingdom of this world. And he has gotten Rachel, the true wisdom, the true wisdom. 
having married these two wives, or Christ having gotten these two, both the law of nature, or having taken this nature upon himself, that is, uh, that is there, then afterward he changed or he married Lecho, that is a true wisdom, that is, means there is a combination of both Leah and Rachel and in Christ Jesus. Having gotten those, he want to return back now unto his father, where he came from. That means Christ is going to go back unto God. That's why Jacob is going to depart from Laban to back to Jerusalem to his father. So here we are going to see that, that, that scenario in a deeper sense and see what it means uh, with Jacob departing from Laban. Let us read Genesis that one and I start, I am not going to read the whole of it, but I'm going to just to, to read some part of it. And here it says, And he heard the words of Laban's sons, saying, Jacob has taken away all that was our father's, and of that which was our father's has he gotten all his glory. Two, and Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. And the Lord said unto Jacob, Return unto the land of thy fathers and to thy kindred, and I'll be with thee. Verse 4. And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field and to his flock and said unto them, I see your father's countenance that it was not toward me as before, but the God of my father hath been with me. And you know that with all my power I have served your father. And your father has deceived me and changed my wages ten times. But God suffered him not to hurt me. If he, if he, he said thus, the speckled shall be thy wages, then all the cattle bear speckled. And if, and if he said thus, the ring straight shall be thy hire, then bear all the cattle ring straight. Thus God has taken away the cattle of your father and given them to me. And it came to pass at the time that the cattle conceived that I lifted up mine eyes and I saw in a dream. And behold, the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ring straight, speckled and grease led. <coughs> And the angel of God spake unto me in a dream, saying, Jacob, and I said, Here I am. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes, and see all the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring speckled, ring straight, speckled, and grisly. <coughs> For I have, I have seen all that Laban doeth unto thee. Okay. Before I go on, let us understand some of these points, because if we don't understand them, sometimes it is going to be hard. To, to know exactly what uh, it means. So this figure represents uh, in the spirit of Christ, uh, sorry, it represents the, the, the spirit of Christ when the spirit of Christ in man has got the kingdom of the human nature himself. 
you know, then the envy of the serpent in that wrath of nature in flesh and blood awake. Understanding and feeling that the power of nature in man is taken away from him and opposes the spirit of Christ in the power of nature. Here, I want you to understand first that in our nature, in our nature, our nature is evil or is radical nature. And whenever you accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior, the first thing which happens unto you, there is that rebellion. That nature, your nature is going to be against the Spirit of Christ. Our nature always rebel against Christ. And that's where, that's how we are being, going to be taught in this scenario of Jacob departing from Laban. We came in this world, we attained this nature of ours. And this nature of ours is evil. And when we are born again, we have a tendency of returning to our mother or to our true self, where we came from. And that's why our nature is going to be against that. It is going to refuse us. It's not going to be an easy way. And that's why here we want to be shown that Jacob, being a type of Christ, has come in this world. And Christ has taken up this kingdom. And he has married these two wives in this world. He has gotten even our outward nature. He has married unto it. He has gotten riches of this world. Because whatever we do, you know, man has never known that all what the scientists are doing, we call them the wonders of nature. And these wonders of nature, it is in the purpose of God. Because it is, it is God manifesting himself. Why not because man came in this world? Some of these things that we see, we can never know them. We can never know God. It is God using man to manifest himself of who he is. So all the riches that we, have, we see with our own eyes that man has made are the riches of Christ. And that's what Christ has gotten in the house of who? Of Laban. Because even these things that we have, you have heard, that when he was working in the house of Laban, there came a time that he separated the cattle of Laban and his cattle. Anything that was ring, speckled, ni kusema, kile chote kilikuwa na madoa doa, kikawa ni chanani? Jacob. Lakini kile chote ambaye hakina madoa doa, kikawa ni chanani? But Jacob, yake yote, even this trick ambaye ana, yani, anatumia pale kwa maji, hizi kondozi kinywa maji. Unakuta zote zina, zinasa nini? Zinazaa zina those rings speckled ambaye ni za nani? Ni za Jacob. That means man having come in this world I told you that this kingdom belonged to who? Satan. To Lucifer. It was the kingdom of Lucifer. It has many things. But those things without the wisdom of Christ they are nothing. Sijui kama tunaona pale. And that's why through science, through the wisdom of God, God has, yani, has gotten a lot of things, a lot of riches, 
out of this kingdom of Satan, do you think Satan would have agreed? Hage kubali. Lakini through the wisdom of Christ, man has dominated this world. He has, many, has made many wonderful things, many riches out of this world. As we are going to see, I'm just giving you an example. And that's why you will find that Laban was not happy. Laban was not happy. For here, Laban represents the kingdom of this world, the nature. That is the radical nature, which is always against Christ. And Christ, being the wisdom of God, has everything to do with the riches of this world. He has made science. Science has made many things, many wonders that man would never have known. This is through the wisdom of who? Of Christ. Because Christ is the wisdom of God. And that's why you see Jacob has the power even to change or to make everything that is mating through the wisdom to be his ghetto. That means he outwitted Laban. Sasawa. Let us see something before we go that way. So here we see, as Jacob called his wives and his children and brought them out of the servitude of his father, that's also the enlightened soul brings the power of its life in the kingdom of nature together with its fellow members out of the servant house of flesh and blood again into the first house into the God's world. God word. I want you to get here because here we must see things both historically because we must understand that in reality Jacob was a man like us. And truly he had to go out of the house of Laban. And he did it. It is a history. And this history, we call it sacred history. Because sacred means it has deeper meanings, spiritual deeper meanings, that man, by carnal reasoning, cannot understand them. But when you go deeper, you see there is something spiritual that you are being shown here. Because here, if you're not going to understand these two, Leah and Rachel, being the wife of Christ or Jacob, then automatically you are not going to get this meaning. If you remember, I told you Leah represents what? Eh? Because when Christ came out of his father, he came into this world. He came and took our nature. He came and took our nature. So we, we saw that Christ wanted who? Rachel. Wanted Rachel. That means Rachel here represents the, 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 the wisdom of God. The true wisdom of God. But we find that Adam, when he came in this world, was also a type of Christ. And that's why you see Adam, Christ is the second Adam. Which means Adam and Christ are the same thing. You know, when you differentiate Adam and Christ, even the first Adam was Christ. And that's why when Christ comes again, he comes at the second uh, Adam. So why was he the first Adam? Meaning, when Christ came in this world, before he fell, he was perfect. Where was Rachel? Was inside. Rachel was inside who? Uh, Adam. 
Which means the first Adam was complete with who? With, Re with Rachel. He was married to who? To Rachel. You see now? But now, when he, Adam came, immediately he fell. He fell asleep. And I told you, wakati Adam alirara, nani alitorewa dani yake? Eh? Lea, ambaye ni nani? Ni if that is the worldly woman and that's why i told you the worldly woman ambaye alitolewa outside adam represent this nature worldly nature represent this nature natural woman and that's what we call the natural woman and i represent the outward nature that is now christ the first adam and by the Adam, he is going to be married first to who? To Leah. And by Sasa, Yule and by Arikua Nataka, Wakati Aridara, Tuliona Ramnagani, Tuliona Jacob, Wakati Aridara, Usiku, Aridato Alea, Aridua Nilea, Aridua Sangapia Subu. Do you think the Holy Spirit ya nakosea akisema usiku yote hakujua leo huu ni leo? Eh? Na wakati aliletewa Laban akauliza kwa nini umelifanya hivyo akaambiwa namna gani? Na Laban. According to our custom, hawezi fanya nini? Chukua mdogo eh? kabla ya mkubwa. Kabla ya mkubwa. That means yani you have entered into this world that means in Christ or in God, the, the darkness which represents nature must come first. This darkness must come first. And that's why I told you when I was teaching you the seven properties of God. To corner out of the seven property, the first, the second, and the third, these represent e evil. There is no order. That represents nature. Where is Christ going to come in? In the fourth, in the fourth property. property. In the fourth property, hapo ndiyo tafanya nini? Ndiyo sasa atatengeneza everything in nature iwe sawa, iwe sawa. So, what it means here, Christ or the first Adam had to take first Leah. Then, after getting Leah, he is going to be married to who? To Rachel. So, if you get that, that you are, then you are, you are going to know that Christ has come, he has been married to Leah, he is married to who? To Rachel. He has gotten children, he has gotten wealth, and now he is going where? Back to where? To his father. To his father. Because he came, he married, he has gotten everything, now he is going back to who? To his father. And when he is going back to his father, that's why now, our nature, it is the same thing. Whenever you are born again in Christ Jesus, one thing, you are married to Leah. Unajua Leah ni nani? Ni mwili. Uu mwili wako. That's Leah. That's the first marriage you get. And you know, there is nobody who can yani, marry, be married to Rachel before he is married to his flesh. Ni kweli? Ni ngumu. It has never happened. Even to a custom ambaye tunajua na macho yetu haiwezeka? Haiwezeka. So you must first of all wakati umezaliwa katika hii dunia you are married to who? To Leah. To Unatembea na Leah? Unaangana na Leah. Unazaa na yeye? Mazao ya nini? Ya mwili? Ya mwili. Na ndio naona Yule alipata watoto kwanza ni nani? Yeah. What about Rachel? Alikaa. Alikaa. Mpaka anasema una gani? You give me children or I die. Kwa nini anasema you give me children or I die? Ni kumaanisha yeah, yeah, that spirit of Leah of wisdom it is in us but it has it is not giving birth. 
Sasa anasema give me children. Wacha ni yani nikatakuwa nataka kusema if I'm not going my fruit is not going to, if I'm not I'm not going to be fruitful. Then I'll die. Where? In us. Nikikusema hatafanya nini? Hataonekana. Kwa sababu hana nini? Mazao. Hana mazao. Ndio analia. Ni kwa sababu yule anazaa ni nani? Akiangalia anaona leo ndio anazaa. That's the way we are. Sijui kama tunaelewana. Yeah, hivyo ndivyo tuko. That's the way we are. So everything that we learn about Christ, uanga inatuleta kwetu sisi. Because Christ is us. Sijui no, kama tunaelewana pale. Yesu ni nani? Christ ni nani? Ni sisi. Ni sisi. And he came to teach us the way. That sisi tujue we are like him. Na yote ambayo tutapita tutapitia ni kama nani? Yale atapitia hata sisi tunafanya nini? Tutayapitia. So we are being told everything in Christ Jesus. So when you go to the Old Testament, the same gospel it is being taught in sacred history. But in the New Testament sasa Christ mwenyewe amefanya nini? Ameku? But when you go to the sacred history tunafundishwa katika yani katika mambo ambayo ni historia lakini ukiangalia na macho ya mwili hautafanya nini? Hautaelewa. Utaona tu ni mambo yalikuwa yanafanyika, ameoa huyu, ame, ame, huyu amezaa, huyu ajazaa. So all those things niliwafundisha katika katika other nini? Other sermons of Jacob. So as Jacob fled from the savoury house of his stepfather. Jacob fled Siri anataka kutoroka. Kwa sababu sasa amefanya nini? As Jacob fled from the savory house of his stepfather, and Laban pursued after and would hurt him. So also in like manner is done to the children of Christ. When they begin to flee out of the savory house of Satan, this our fresh body, this is the house of who? Of Satan. Hata sisi wakati tunataka kutoroka tunafanya nini? Shetani bada na. Bada shetani anafanya nini? Anatushika. Anatushika. Anatukimbisha. So ndio unaona Jacob anataka kuenda. Lakini naye labda anafanya nini? Anakataa. Anakataa. So when they begin to flee out of the seven house of Satan, this out from fleshly pleasure and voluptuousness and would again enter into the first land of their father this into righteousness and the fear of god then instantly the fleshly crew of the wicked world with rage and folly pursue after and would stay or so would slay them and take away with evil and forced tanks all their riches and goods in god's righteousness kwa hivyo kumaanisha wakati unaona wewe ukiwa mkristo whenever you want to go holy unto Christ and to your father unakuta the world inafanya nini inakuzui inakataa tamaa inakataa kwa nini unataka kwenda eh kwa nini unataka kutoroka utakuja kuona hata labda ni wakati alifikia Jacob anamwambia kwa nini unataka kuniibia watoto wangu You see now? Eh, because yani all what we have we have in this world we have gotten are the fruit of this nature. Ni matunda yani hii dunia. Hii dunia. So wakati wewe ati unafikiri and, and that's why I came to realize there is no way when you are a child of God kupata hii mali ya hii dunia. Maana yake shetani anafanya nini? Anakataa. Anaipinga. Hawezi ana na, na nini? You cannot go out of this kingdom of mine ukiwa na mali yangu hapana. Sasa ndiyo naona Laba ni anafanya nini? Anakataa. Anakataa. Eh, anakataa. Na ndiyo naona ukisoma hapa inasema namna gani? Ukisoma katika Genesis nasema eh, and it came to pass 10 no verse 1 inasema And Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban and behold it was not toward him as before. Akaanza kuona huyu mtu the countenance 
ya, ya Laban ikaanza kufanya nini? Kubadilika. Kubadilika. Manake Jacob anataka kufanya nini? Na utashangaa wakati utakuja kuangalia mambo unajua ni mambo mengine mazito sana. Utakuja kuona Laban, sorry, Jacob wakati alikuwa nazaa na Lea hakuwa na haja ya kwenda. Alikuwa bado anakaa kwa nani? Kwa Laban. But the moment alizaa Joseph akazaa Joseph na nani? Na Rachel. Hapo ndiyo alianza kwenda. You might think you might think it is just like like that. Nikumaanisha the moment sasa Yesu Kristo amefanya nini? Amezaliwa ndani yako because Joseph here represent the image of, the image of Christ in, in you. Nikusema umepata sasa that strength. Kuangaza. Eh, hey, nguvu za nani? Za Kristo. Unafunguka macho yani. Sasa umefunguka macho sasa. Manake Recho amefanya nini? Amezaa. That is the time Jacob alianza kurudi kwa nani? Kwa baba yake. Hapo ndio sasa jani ilia ilianza. Na hapo ndio sasa Laban alianza kufanya nini? Kuzikia wi akaanza sasa kuona hapana. Eh, huyu mtu ananiondokea. Huyu mtu anataka kuniondokea. Eh? Sisi kama tunaona pale, huyu mtu anataka kuniondokea. Manake amezaa nani? Na nimemweka eh. kwa mateka kwangu. Eh. Sasa kuna kamwangaza kameanza kuonekana kwake. Eh. Anataka kufanya nini? Kuondoka. Kuondoka. Na sita muachilia hivi. Sita muachilia hivi. Ni lazima hii muangaza. Hii muangaza lazima. That's why na ni wakati tu wakati Jacob alizaa Dani eh, Recho akazaa Joseph. Ni kumaanisha the fruitful that in a man akaanza kufanya nini? Kunenepa. Kunenepa sasa. The fruit of Christ ikaanza kupata nguvu. Na sasa ndio Jacob akakumbuka nani? Baba yake. Baba yake. Crude back to Jerusalem. Ndio rudi pale. Sasa hapo ndio vita sasa ita, itaanza. So hapa tunataka kufundishwa namna gani? In fact the moment Lea ndio anazaa Satan hana nini? Ana ana ubaya na wewe. Eh? Ana vita na wewe. The moment Lea ndio anafanya nini? Anazaa. Satan hana nini? Ana vita. Hapo ana kimya. Hapo ana kimya. Hako sawa. Hako Anajua anajua generation yake inafanya nini? Uko hiyo, wake unaendelea. Uko wake unaendelea. Maana hiyo yote ni mazao ya nini? Ya mwili. Ya mwili. But the moment Rachel atazaa hapo vita ita? Kwa sababu hata Jacob sasa ndio nimeona hapa amekuwa mtumwa na ametumika sana. Wacha rudi wapi? Na Naye labda ni ameona hapana. Huyu sasa anataka kufanya nini? Anataka kutoroka. Sasa hapo ndio utaona Jacob ataasa safari. I would like us to read Genesis 35 maybe it can guide us on some point Genesis 35 from verse 1 it says And God said unto Jacob Arise go up to Bethel and dwell there and make there an altar unto God that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of a sow thy brother then Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him put away the strange gods that are among you and be clean and change your garments and let us arise and go up to Bethel and I'll make there an altar unto God who answered in the day of my distress and was with me in the way which I went so you come to nasikia pale yeah so this history signifies nothing else but this when Christ would with the, yani with sorry when Christ would with these wretches idols god this our flesh and blood 
wakati Christ ataondoa this idol and tutaona why they are called righteous idol kwa sababu utaona even when wanakimbia pale recho ataiba nini idol za nani za baba yake so sometimes inafika pale watu wanauliza inakuwaje sasa tena recho ndio ataiba, ataiba the idols badala ya tena ndio ageiba sasa imekuwaje sasa huyu ndiye ameiba the idols tutakuja kuona ni kwa nini eh, recho ndio aliba the idols so here eh, Christ wakati anataka sasa to do away with our flesh and blood and to depart from this servile house and go to his father When we say you know wakati Jacob anataka kufri nikana kwamba tunataka kuambiwa we as Christian there comes a time when Jack when Joseph is born in us that is Christ Jesus we want to free from this servile house ambaye ni nini ni humwi ni humwili tunataka kukimbia kuondokea and that's why watoto wa Mungu wanaambiwa wasisikize tena nini mwili 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 na damu because that is that is where we are enslaved man in this world has never known he is a slave he is not he has no freedom you know freedom man has never known what freedom is man think when he is in this body he has freedom but he has not He is limited. Amekuwa limited. Na hii limitation is not freedom. And that's why those who are in Christ Jesus the moment they start realizing that they are in bondage of this body that they cannot go back they cannot attain to that eternal freedom. Sasa ndio naona wakati mtu amezaliwa tena anaanza ku realize that bondage ambaye inaletwa na huu mwili because huu mwili is a limitation why why is it a limitation for those who want to go to heaven for those who will stay with Christ Jesus in the eternal kingdom they must be free of this body ni kwa sababu anything and that's why Christ says Anything that is born of flesh is flesh. Kilio chariwa na na mwili? Ni mwili. Ni mwili. Ni kama umezaliwa na mwili na you remain in that yani eh, eh, katika mwili wewe you are under limitation. You don't have freedom. Na tukisema freedom wengine hawezi kuelewa kwa sababu watafikiria How what do you mean by freedom? Because when you come to 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 kind of understanding watu wanasema haki ye? haki yetu. Sasa uki, ukiwauliza haki yao ni gani? Hii haki ambayo wanasema ni haki yetu ni kufanya kulingana na vile mwili inafanya nini? Inataka. Hiyo ndio tunaita nini? Haki. Haki, haki yetu ndio tunaona kama kana kwamba ni free? Ni freedom. How? That means If somebody is a harlot. Apatiwe nini? Haki yake. Haki yake. Ya hiyo mwili yake. So ukiangalia the freedom in this world ambayo watu wanaita ni freedom it is bondage. Ni kwa sababu eh? Ufungu eh? Bora ufungu ambao mwili umekuweka. Eh? Wewe ukiangalia na macho ya <coughs> macho ya mwili unaona wewe uko huru? Uko huru lakini katika macho ya kiroho Umefu? wewe umefungwa na umefungwa na nini na mwili na mwili kwa sababu mfano tuseme mtu mwenye anafuta sigara ehe <laughs> yeye wakati anafuta yeye anaona ako sawa ako sawa yes uhuru eh hiyo ni sare 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 yake, yake. <laughs> lakini hapo ana bon aka bonde yani yeye hayuko huru ni kwa sababu ni mtumwa wa mwili anafanya kulingana vile mwili nafanya nini inamsukuma inamsukuma mwili tena inakuweka limit ya 
inakusingira you cannot go you can, and unaona that is it kwa nini watu wanasema kitu kama addiction people have never known addiction it is a limitation ambaye is a bondage ambayo mwako na nini na mwi kwa hivyo nikumaanisha this addiction siwezi kaa bila kunywa pombe siwezi kaa bila kuvuta sigara siwezi kuwa yani yani uh, drug addict i have to live with a drug ni kumaanisha you, your body has adapted to a certain law and wewe you must fulfill it whether you like it or not or not sasa hapo ndio unaona wakati mtu anapelekwa rehab wanga anajaribiwa kuondoa hii bondage at least hii mwili ifanye nini imwachiri So here hapa sasa ndio tunataka kuambiwa Jacob as a type of Christ wakati anatoka kwa Laban ndio anaambia bibi yake na watoto wake watoe nini kila ki? kila kitu kila kitu eh? yani watoe all the garments idols idols si ndio ya yeah, wanaambiwa watoe all the idols manake anawaambia anawaambia Let us arise sorry then Jacob said that his household and to all that were with him put away the strange gods that are among you and be clean and change your ga- garments so this change of garment ni kumaanisha you yani you put a new a new garment a new garment which is Jesus Christ. Ni kwa sababu nani? Joseph amefanya nini amezali? Christ amezaliwa ndani yako sasa. You put another garment. You put away gods. Gods hapa in capital letter nataka kusema anything in this world ambaye wewe unaitukua ni kana kwamba ndio inatawara wewe is a god. Is a god. Anything be it what it is. Even riches ukiwa wewe maisha yako yote ama mafikra yako yote ni ya mwili na utajiri it is a god is a god it's, it has become your god chochote tu unatengeneza chochote hata gari inaweza kuwa your god kuna mtu anaweza kuuza gari yake hata anaweza kuwa wewe is a god that is his god to you and that hiyo mabati kwako wewe you are nothing na ndio unaona in the present society kuna mtu hata akigonga mtu na gari hata mwingine angalie nyuma yeye ile kitu anataka kuangalia gari yangu imeumia sio kama tunaelewana gari ndio iko na shida tu anataka kuona kama ifanya nini lakini sio wewe so hiyo gari ni kama his god na na yeye ajui that man huyo amegonga he is more nearer to god and he is, he is his god kuliko nini kuliko gari ama kuliko hii mambo tunaona ya mwili so you know that Jacob anasema you put all strange gods zote muache ndio tufanye nini twende safa twende safari sasa sawa ya yeah. ukiangalia in that verse anasema he'll go arise and go to Bethel and dwell there and make there an altar to God. And no altar. This altar people or the present generation not even the present generation many even in the church history has never known what an altar is. When you come to history truly Jacob had to build an altar somewhere where to sacrifice unto God. But this altar Jacob is a type of Christ which means this altar that Jacob is going to to build it is Christ G- Jesus. Jesus So an altar it is Christ Jesus in us because that's where we sacrifice unto God in the New Testament which means there is no one No one who can sacrifice unto God in the New Testament if Christ is not he is not born in Christ because it is only through Jesus Christ that your prayers 
your sacrifice can be received unto who? Unto God? Unto God. So the altar is not anywhere. Ama hii mambo watu wanaita pulpit. That's not an altar. Hiyo yote sio altar. Na ndio when you come to the present church, wanarembesha sana the, the pulpit. Wanafikiria the pulpit can represent the oh, the altar. No. If you yourself if Christ you if you're not born in, unto Christ Jesus and built in yourself an altar when we say built in yourself an altar that me that we mean this that the name of Jesus Christ be in you that means the character everything the way of Christ you become like Christ Jesus both in nature and action then you become an altar of God. Then whatever you ask in his name, itafanya nini? Utapewa. Lakini utakuja kuona hypocrites bado wanafikiri they, they have an altar of Christ. You are doing things of the flesh. Mambo ya mwili ndio inakuongoza. Na unasikia Jacob anasema namna gani? Put away what? Oh, oh, strange God. God. So come away ni Mukristo and yet you have other gods of this world. Gods ya tumesema hata utajiri. Kama wewe ni preacher na haja yako ni uwe na magari na madege na nini. You are not yani you are not building Christ altar. You have no altar of Christ. You have not put out strange gods. You have not changed the ga- the garment. Ni kwa sababu kwa nini ana change the garment? Ni kwa sababu ametoka wapi? Ametoka kwa Laban, anaenda wapi? Kwa baba yake. The house of God. Na this house of God ndio anaambiwa ni wapi? Be- Bethel. Bethel. Na hapa Bethel ndio tunaona wakati alikuwa anaenda kwa Laban, hapo ndio Jacob alilala, akaona nini? The ladder ya kushuka na kupanda. Ya na kupanda. Now pastor ndio anaambiwa hapo ndio sasa tena anaambiwa you change the cup because that na kabisa ukikumbuka alisema hakika this is the house of God. Na ukisoma pale anaambiwa arudi wapi? Be? Hapo Bethel atengeneza nini? Na aliweka jiwe pale. wakati alikuwa anaenda. Na akasema ukinikipeleka na nikirudi sitasahau. Na hapo hapo ndio anakuja anatengeneza the altar. Zina. Na hapa ndipo utakuja kuona the church. That is Jerusalem. Kanisa itafanya nini? Itaje? Itajengwa. The temple itakuwa pale. So all these things inatufundisha mambo ya dali sana ni kwa sababu tunatakiwa tuone that this altar represents Jesus Christ. When you go to the Old Testament, when you come to the New Testament, tunasahau we are not now talking about about worldly altar no tunaongea juu ya spiritual altar ambaye is Christ Jesus the hope of glory yes lakini sio nini sio sio jiwe ama pulpit ama whatever no you might have the best pulpit ambaye imewekwa mabu ambaye imetengenezwa na hata na dhahabu but it cannot take the place of that true altar which is Christ Jesus our lord our lord Haiwezi kuwa. Hiyo lazima tuelewe. Let us read Genesis that 1 20 and 21 which says And Jacob stole away and awares to Laban the Syrians in that he told him not that he fled. 21 So he fled with all he had and he, he rose up and passed over the river and set his face toward the mount gilead you see now but the, here you see jacob stole away the heart of laban the syrians in that he secretly fled away with his daughters it has very same inward spiritual figure contained in it for the word became man and took Laban's that is nature 
the other Adam's daughters and brought them by divine uncertainty away out of Adam's house into God's house, which in that place is called stealing. Was it actually stealing? Yeah? Because hapa tota kuambiwa, when Christ, when Christ Jesus came in this world, yes. he took the daughters or he took the, this body or the law of nature, which is there, because Babu Turabiwa, Christ had to put the garment of the first Adam. Sinikweli? Ndiyo wesa kutuokoa. Sasa swali ni jee. Wakati sasa Adam anaondoka na recho. Na lea, onaondoka. Pala tunabiwa, he stole the daughter of who? Of Laban. Aliba, yaani watoto wasichana wanani? Was that stealing? No. No. It was not stealing. Ni kwa sababu, yeye, in fact, ni kana kwa matotaa kuambiwa, if wewe kabisa kabisa you are going to be a Christian, Remember, there is no way Satan mutaka chini mnegotiate na yeye. Yeah? So but in a sense, you can also say it was stealing. Yeah. In this sense, you know this kingdom was initially was Lucifer's kingdom. Yes. And if it was Lucifer's kingdom, so even an Abia Jesus wakati na everything is given to me. Everything is has been given to me. To me. Mind. Yes. So when Jacob is is is, is free, wakati mm -hmm. So according to Laban, mm -hmm. because Laban is a sovereign in nature, ageona ni kabisa kabisa huyu mtu amemuiba, ameiba kile kitu chake. That is true. Ageona hivyo. So I think hapo ndio anatumia the word stealing. stealing because ni kweli because this nature belong to who? To Laban. To Laban. Mm -hmm. These two daughters belong to who? To Laban. Yeah. And now he is stealing them. Mm. But in that your sense, he is not stealing. Yeah, yes, for him is not. He is not. Because everything, mm. everything, even those ones, they are, to, to a larger extent, be, they belong to God. Yes. But according to the uh, to, to Lucifer, <laughs> it is like now still because Anasema, this this world it is mine, the kingdom is mine. That is true. But initially it belongs to God. Yeah. That's it, what happened. He talked to Mualimu. Mm. Akul, there is no stain. Sababu, fila unatusomesha ni Kristo awe dani yetu, na hako dani yetu. Alafu tuangalie, we go beyond. Kristo akiwa dani yetu, ye di umuupa. Di aliu? Di aliu umba? Tukiangalia, in another sense, tunafudisho uyo uko dani yetu, di aliu? Aliu umba. Kwa hivyo, he is not stealing. There is no stealing. Ni tuodoe mipaka. Okay. Ni tuodoe mipaka, we see in another dimension. Sio kwa gari hapa sini. In the third dimension. Kristo kia liuba hata kwa uba ule satan. Kwa hivyo sasa Christ ya liuba ni. So, it is the same way. That is true. But we want to see it. Why the scripture has used the word? Stealing. Stealing. You know, hapo ni tunangalia. We know through the, but we want to see why it is stealing. For example, tunambiwa, ni nini ambaye wewe uko nae, ambaye siya kupatiwa? Iko? Kile kitu ambaye uko nae ni ya nini? Suppose mutu wakujia achukua hiyo simu yako. Utasema na mnagani? Na sasa kila sasa ukiabiyo, hivyo ni nikio rila kio hita rija wako heyoji. Diyo wadoe ni paka uwane Christ Ujoe ni Christo in you Na chochote uko nae ni Christ That is true That is true Diyo sikuwe na hile Hile kitu kiliikia Satan Hili atiyone uodoreo hiyo kitu That is true But the point is Diyo simu ni yako Ni yako Diyo hii Ah no no you know we want to put it right you know and it's your argument we want 
we want to put it yeah. wa, wacha nitumie ndungu uko na simu yes. na tunaambiwa nini ambayo uko nayo ambayo si kupatiwa hakuna kitu ya kila kitu ni kupewa but the moment you have acquired that phone it is you ndio nasema ni ya mtu akija itukue saa hii utasema amefanya nini yeah he have stolen but in actual sense hata yeye hiyo kitu sio nani sio yake hivyo sasa ndio the word the scripture inataka kutumia that laban anasema you have stolen my daughter my daughters because everything is created by god even satan himself yeah. but whatever he has been given it has become his yeah. now it is his if you take them you are unanibia that means now you have a body i told you the outward body that we have that was created from the earth it belonged to the kingdom of who of lucifer so now when you when Christ Jesus come and he changes that nature of yours to serve the will of God Satan is not happy and then he use that word yeah and he use that word that you are stealing <laughs> yes he uses that word eh. it's Christ in me and above I myself am above Satan it is true that is true i don't want i don't want us to go that direction i can get that point that you are saying but we want to get the scripture to understand you know when we are doing exposition we try to put things to expound that scripture kama tutafunguka <laughs> tuchukue ya kwamba shetani pande anasema anafanya nini anaibiwa in the real sense shetani mm. afanye nini haibiwi mm-hmm. kwa hivyo tusiegemee tusi upande wote tuchukue <laughs> sehemu ngapi mbili ndio tupate the, the, the true meaning the true meaning yeah. ya hiyo jina ya hiyo jia tujue yes everything is for christ nothing was created that was not created by who by christ by, by that one we know it but now here we want to see because the scripture uanga inataka kutufundisha kutufungua macho ndio tuweze kuona the whole format ya the creation and the purpose of God and how God is working and how we as separate entities from God behave together with Satan when we have gotten things ambayo tunasema ni zetu ni zetu wakati mtu amechukua kwa nini kwa mfano eh. saa hizi eh, mimi nimepewa shamba eh. na mzazi wangu <laughs> Hiyo shamba naanza kujigamba hii shamba ni ya mtu akitaka ku, 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 kuchukua anasema hapana waje kuchukua shamba shamba yangu the really sense hiyo shamba ilikuwa yangu hakuna ilikuwa ya msa ya ya mzazi yeah. kwa hivyo hata shetani yeah. wakati ameingia katika hii uh, dunia amesema hii kila kitu ni ya ni yake, yake. lakini sio ya sio yake yes so ielewa vizuri ya kwamba kila kitu ambacho tunaona katika hii dunia ni ya mu ni ya mu That's why tunaambiwa this world when it fell it belonged to the kingdom of Lucifer when it formed it fell it became da- darkness that was the kingdom of Lucifer but God is going now to liberate this kingdom he want to take it out of Lucifer and he's going to say because it has become darkness let there be light be light so Christ is coming here now in this kingdom to liberate this kingdom but satan is claiming that it is his that's why laban anamwambia kwa nini unafanya nini unaniimbia yes that's my to to yani to nini so the anger of god has possessed men in the right of nature but christ came and married with them and stole them together with the idols idols away from the anger and offered them up to god upon his altar which is himself i laid off the image uh, of man's self love and cleansed our garments before god that we might serve him in this altar so christ came in this nature yeah and married with the, we had with this nature 
That's why he has my he's married to Rachel. That's why he's married to our body. The way we were. We were. Yeah, the way we were. Anakuja na anaolewa na yani ana, anaingia katika huu mwili wetu tunafanya nini? Anaolewa na na sisi. So wakati sasa wewe unataka kwenda na huu mwili at you say sasa you want to serve God, Satan is not ha- happy. Satan anakasirika. Anaona ni kana kwamba unamuimbia because he will ni nani? Ni yake. Sasa wewe unataka ku serve God, to go back to God, ukitumia nini? Mwili ya mwili wa shetani. Sasa yeye hataki. Sijui kama tunaona pale. When you go back to our topic, inasema nini? Laban appraised Jacob that he fled from him and did not suffer him first to kiss his children and that he might conduct them on their way with mud and with the, with, and with the tablets. Look here, let us read Genesis 31, 17 and 28. Genesis 21, sorry, that one, 17 and 28. 17 asema nini? 17 inasema, ndipo Yakobo akaondoka akapandisha wanawe na wakezee juu ya ngamia. 28 28 mm-hmm. wala huku niacha ni wabusu wanangu na binti zangu basi umetenda upumbavu You see and also nini and has not suffered me to kiss my sons and my daughters thou hast now done foolishly in so doing Nani anaramika hapa Laban Ni Laban Mbona umechukua na hata huku hauku, hata huku nipatia nafasi nifanye nini ni ni watoto wangu ni mbudu wa busu watoto wangu na, na mali yangu kwa sababu hadi wangu so hapo sasa ni, 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 ni nani anaongea sasa ukija katika nature ni, unaambiwa namna gani sasa anakuambia namna gani eh hiyo hiyo unataka hata kwenda kwenda na hizi vitu unaona vile zinakuta mimi na ni vitu zangu eh na hata huwezi hata kunipatia nafasi hata nifanye nini nisiguze kidogo nikizi wao you see here sasa ni sasa ninatumia nini yeah enticement is a cane yani hiyo ni cane kwa sababu sasa anataka kuoneshana yani hiyo ni mimi sina uvaya mimi sina uvaya yes yeah ukinipatia nafasi na hivyo ndio tuanga tunadanganywa na mwili Eh? Hivyo ndio tu waka tunadanganywa na mwili. Eh. Sasa hapa enyewe hii eh hii pesa imekuja rahisi sana. Hii nitawaacha kweli. Si hii kwanza ungechukua kwanza ndio tufanye nini? Tuachane. Na hali inaweza kukupatia pesa hivi nikuletee kwa mlango hivi na wewe ukatae. Eh? Si ungenikisi kwanza ndio uende. Eh, hata kama ni hata kana kwamba unaenda hii chukua kwanza. So that's the way Satan does to us. Ndio nasikia sasa anambebereza kwa nini umefanya hivyo? Hey. So when the sacred free from it and forsake the idol house of or temple then the children of nature's kingdom are prayed the, these children of Christ. You know for what? Wana wana prayed wao kwa sababu gani? For yani for sake of yani for sworn people for heretics, novelty, new light and enthusiast. Sasa hapa ni kana kwamba eh, tukiangalia katika church history tutaona why is there persecution when there is reformation why do the children of this world persecute wale wanafanya reformation mm-hmm. eh. kwa nini wana persecute wao wewe kabisa kabisa you want to reform the church but wale kabisa wanaenda na, na mambo ya mwili wana persecute wewe wanasema hapana huwezi hata hivyo why is he bitter ni kama mm. kwanza huyu anajifanya mm. anajua sana mm. hawa leo anakuwa wana persecute wengine mm. the same same people from the same same church from mm. the same religion mm. same religion so, lakini sasa hawa religion hii wewe wenye wana persecute mm. wanaona hapana hawa hawa in fact hata wana persecute wakifikiria mm. wanasaidia mungu that is it wanafikiria kani mungu anasaidia uh, yeah and that's why rapa yasema ungekubali hata mimi nifanye nini ni wakis that is foolishness umefanya viba umefanya viba sana 
You see now how watasema wewe unaenda kuongea hiatics watasema even you are hiatic mm. unaharibu kani hii ni ujinga unaharibu in fact si unaona even when Christ was being persecuted <laughs> priest alisema namna gani afadhali mtu mmoja afanye nini akufe kuliko nini inji muzi inji mzima so he thought he was doing favor to who to god, to god. even hmm? mtu kama Saul hmm. hmm. huyo alikuwa alikuwa Paul hmm. wakati alikuwa anaenda hmm. anaenda kupasikitu watu hmm. juu alikuwa mtu amesoma sana mambo ya dini hmm. si alikuwa amesoma eh hey. Eh, Galileo. Eh. Mm. Sasa yeye akienda anafikiri hivyo mm. vyenye anafanya ndivyo inafaa kuwa. Sasa hao wengine ndio wanafanya makosa mm. Not Galileo, Gamaliel. Gamaliel. Ya Gamaliel ndio alikuwa amefundisha Paul. So, hii mambo yote unaona labda ni ana pretend mm. ni hiyo inafanyika with the children of nature. Mm-hmm. Ambao wanatumia na, na shetani. Ya, yeah, wanatumia the light of nature. Yeah, the light of nature yes So ukiangalia in fact utaona even tradition tuko na mlagani kuna watu kabisa saa hii wanajita ni wazee kuna things ambayo wanasema hii huwezi kuwa namna hii ukienda na hii jia hii ni uji hii ni ujinga that's why baba itafanya nini so you cannot go to religion uache tradition na ndio naona tunafika pahali unaona watu katika tradition wanataka kurudisha watu katika tradition lakini sio wende tu wewe useme wewe ni mkristo lazima tu kuna mambo yaki yaki ya, ya, ya nini ya kinyumbani na ni religion yetu so ndio naona hasa huyu anasema this is foolish hii ni, ni uji ungekubali kwanza ni kizi hawa watu ndio ni wabali you see now satan anataka kujionesha kuoneshana he is also an angel of what of light of light yeah yeah that's the light of nature that's the light of nature you cannot just go like that lazima tufuate tradition traditions yes of nature the light of nature yeah that's why unaona yani lazima angeenda kulikana vile anafanya nini kwa hivyo wewe hautakiwi kwenda vile yani eh, unaenda lazima we have something to do so here as laban pursued after jacob and prayed him because he had not first kept that pigeonry and solemnity and told him beforehand that he would travel and be gone yani yeye alienda akakosana nini na ka na custom that babel also would fain have even the babel kanisa la babel nakuwa that the children of christ should only enter into god through their solemnities. Nona sasa. So ukija katika Babel, kanisa ambaye ni Antichrist, na inaamini lazima ile jia wameweka ifanya nini? Ifua ifua twe. Kama hutafuta hiyo, hiyo sasa is foolishness. So unaona ndio unaona watu wamekuwa confused in this world because they have never known that Rachel not even Rachel, Leah, the church of Leah, it is ni church is the church of Cain. The church of Cain. Yeah. Leah is the said Cain. Cain. Sijui kama tumeelewana pale. Yule Cain moja. Yule Cain moja. Huyu Cain ako katika that line. Maana yake ni kanisa la hapa la mwi la mwili ambaye linatumia this world reasoning. Ambaye ni reasoning ya nini ya mwili? Because Rachel is the wisdom of God and you know natazaa nani Joseph ambaye ni Christ the wisdom of God Lakini ukija katika Rachel Leah tutakuja kuona hawa watoto vile amewazaa na ndio unaona amezaa ya kwanza amezaa nani Ruben What did Ruben does Alifanya nini Ana nani Eh bibi ya nani Ana bibi ya nani Jacob So nani alikataana na Mungu 
what did yani what did the first adam did do alifanya nini the first born adam alikataana na mungu kwa hivyo alira kitada ya nani so that's why unaona ndio lea anazaa nani ruben ukienda katika the prophecy of jacob utaelezewa jacob alira kitada ya baba ya baba yake ni kusema yeye alikataana he rebelled against his father paka kanara na bibi yake You see now. Mm-hmm. Sasa ambaye hiyo ni nini? Ni tabu. You see now. Mm-hmm. So ukija sasa when we are going to study the, these sons of of Leah utakuja kuona Leah atazaa vijana pamoja na na nini atazaa vijana gapi? Si? Alafu ya? Leah. Alafu atazaa nani? Wa saba. Wasichana. Atazaa dina wa saba wa saba atazaa ni mwanamke hiyo ni kumaanisha dina atakuwa defiled defiled atakuwa defiled sasa ni kumaanisha uzao wote wa lea ambaye ni six around the seventh the completeness of lea atakuwa dina anaye dina atakuwa a whole sio kama tunaona pale you see the point atakuwa the whole ni kumaanisha ilea hii ho ni kumaanisha uzao wote wa lea ambaye it is this worldly kingdom ambaye ndio kanisa ambaye itaformiwa hapa duniani itakuwa represented by dina dina ambaye is a ho manake dina yeye mwenyewe ndio atajipeleka arepiwe na ndio unaona wenye wanaenda ku revenge ni nani? Na nani? Na Levi. Representing the good civil man ambaye ni Simon na Levi ni the priest. Ndio watakuwa wameform this world. Yeah? Here I want you to get it. Because if you're not getting the point I'm, I'm giving you, you would see what I mean. I mean Lea forms the kingdom of this world ambaye it is this outward church. Mm-hmm. Na this outward church ndio naona Lea anazaa six men. Na the seventh ni nani? Ni Dina. Ambaye huyu Dina atakuwa raped. Ambaye atakuwa a whole. A whole ni kumaanisha it is ni mbalaya. That means The church ambayo itakuwa represented by Leah manake this worldly church yote the whole christianity that we see in this world it is represented by Leah ambaye ni inalipikwa ni na, na di, dina ambaye dina is a whole ni kumaanisha ni kanisa ambaye si ya kwe manake imetokana na nani na le na lea ni kusema imetokana na this worldly nature because the true church itatokana na nani na le? lecho na lecho ndio atazaa the true church ambaye hii ndio utaona lecho wakati kabisa yeye ndio anazaa nani Joseph ambaye ni Christ na anakuja anazaa nani Be? Benjamin ambaye Benjamin ana represent the saints Nana na sasa ana represent the true saints of Christ ambaye ndio naona recho wakati anapata Benjamin anafanya nini anakufa that means Christ will die because of the saints ambaye ni be? Benjamin Tunaona pale So when you come to Leah who you dinner ambaye is a ho ni kanisa ambaye ni ho ataenda kupiganiwa na nani na two brothers ambao watashikana pamoja one is a priest na mwingine ni waduni that that means ukiangalia the church the present church we as could differentiate the politicians and the priest ambao wote wanasema wanapigania nani kani sio kama tunaelewana sio kama tunaelewana pale Dina alienda kupiganiwa na nani? Simon na nani? Na Levi. Who is Levi? 
Ukija katika katika the testament Levi alikuwa nani? Alikuwa priest. Na Simon ukienda katika province ya Jaso ya nini is a good citizen yani citizen ambaye ni politician the learned man in this world eh yeah. you see now so wao ndio walienda ku revenge for the whole were they truly fighting for the for yani nani alikuwa ameambia Dina aende yani kama Dina alikuwa mtu mzuri nani alikuwa amepeleka yeye kule kawe raped <laughs> eh hey. nani alikuwa amepeleka yeye So was there any right ya Levi kwenda kuwa hawa watu? Lakini walikifanya wanapenda nani? Dina. Wanapenda dada yao sana. Wakaenda kufanya nini? Kupigania. So the same case yani is happening today. Huyu the priest ambaye anajifanya ni wa kanisa, anajifanya mtu ambaye kabisa anapigania kani? Na politician ambaye kabisa wanashikana na, na huyu priest wanajipigania ati sasa wao wanapigania nini kani politician analeta pesa na ukicheza hata hata unaweza umia politician wameshikana na kanisa lakini hii kanisa ambayo wanapigania si ya kwe because it is represented by dinner the whole tunaelewana pale umeiona so hivyo ndivyo ilivyo that's why wakati tunasema lea ndio ana represent the outward church The true church ambaye ni recho it is not even when you come to the west hata hawajaijua hapo sasa ndio nataka kuja sasa the point ya nani yes we have the church we have the church in the west lakini when you come to recho recho mwenyewe ambaye yeye ana yani ambaye ni sisi ni, ni Benjamin But this church ambaye is the true church ambaye kabisa Christ anaonekana in this world it is not in the west. Manaka the west inakuwa inakuwa represented by the dinner. Darkness. Sio darkness dinner. Kama yani a whole. And that's why ukienda katika the book of revelation inaitwa anti Christ. Anti Christ. Ni kanisa lakini ndiyo ni kanisa lakini it is anti Christ. So utakuja kuona when you come to the church today there is a verse wacha nione kama nitaiona ambayo inasema if you read Isaiah 59:19 it says So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the lord shall lift up a standard against him so if you read to, uh, to there are some other uh, versions translation which is say so shall they fear the name of the lord from the west and his glory from the east kuna another version inasema hivyo his glory from the east his name from the west what's the different eh yeah? eh yeah? simple you know the name yeah they will fear the name but his glory will be in the east there is also another one ambaye inasema that is uh, Isaiah Isaiah 66 Isaiah 66 let me see It says thus 66:12 For thus says the Lord behold I will extend peace to her like a river and the glory of the gentiles like a flowing stream then shall he suck he shall be born upon her side and be dandled upon her knees hiyo inasema namna gani yani mwalimu kiswahili unaweza kusema namna gani eric eric yani kiswahili inasema namna gani kiswahili inasema maana bwana anasema hivi tazama 
nitamuelekezea amani kama mtu na utukufu wa mataifa kama kijito kifurikacho nanyi mtapata kunyonya mtapewa na juu ya magoti mtapembelezwa nani watapembeleza wao yeah? ndeje yeah. so ili kanisa don't uzao huyu anaandikia eh lukia ukisoma 11 nasema inasema rejoice ye with Jerusalem kwazia 10 and be glad with her all ye that love her rejoice rejoice for joy with her all ye that mourn for her na Jerusalem zini kanisa that you may suck and be satisfied with the breast of her consolations that ye may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory naona mpaka hapo for thus says the lord sasa hapo anasema ataoka juu ya kanisa for thus says the lord behold i'll extend peace to her like a river nikani nikanisa i'll extend peace of her like a river that is the church sasa mwalimu and the glory of the gentiles like a flowing stream kwa hivyo there is even the gentile has a glory ambaye ata extend kwa nani kwa kani kwa kanisa unasikia pia anasema the half there is a glory in the gentile ambaye bado ata extend kwa kani kwa kanisa then they shall then shall he suck Sisi sasa Jerusalem. Yeah, sisi sasa Jerusalem. Then shall ye suck. You shall be born upon her sides. Sasa huyo Gentile. Huyo Gentile ambaye akona glory. You shall be born upon her side and be dandled upon her knees. What is to dandle? Is there someone in him? It means to be comforted or to say close. Yaani Yes. So wakati unaona vazi kama hii unaweza shangaa uone how come the gentle watakuwa ndio wako na glory. Hii glory tusikia pale the west watakuwa na nini? Na the name, they refer the name. But when you go to the east the glory. Haya, alafu kija hapa na Isaya anasema nyinyi kanisa nita extend muto, yani the river from the gentiles ambaye muta 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 sak muta muta fanya nini mtanyo kuna mtanyonya kwao mtanyonya kwao eh tuliza mwalimu eh hii tunasema tunajua tunajua nini so unajua ukiwa unaangalia mambo katika kimwili utakuja kuona kuna mambo mengi sana watu wajaelewa ndio niliwaambia hii mtu Euphrates ambaye inakaushwa ndio the kings of the east waingie kanisa ni hii Marake the half the half a glory ambaye sisi tukiwa kwa kanisa hatu hatuna nani ukua ukiangalia nacho na hii maana haya macho yetu how they do things adalia nchi kama Sisi tuko 50 million tunalaja tunakufa tunafanya nini all those things 